This news highlight is brought to you by Bonin Post Online. Puntong, the rhino, dies, euthanized to end her suffering. Saba has lost Puntong, the Sumatran rhino, who touched the hearts of many. Puntong was euthanized at Dabin Wildlife Reserve on June the fourth. Puntong had been suffering since mid-March from an abscess inside her upper jaw that would not heal despite treatment. She was one of the last three Sumatran rhinos in the country. Now there are only two left. Bakalalan, Long Samadu Road, reduced to a muddy mess. The Bakalalan, Long Samadu Road, has deteriorated to such an appalling state that there is no visible sign that there has ever been a proper road. According to Baru Bien, some parts of the road are now just muddy tracks, which even four-wheel drives have difficulty negotiating and get bogged down in the mud. The Minister for Infrastructure, Development and Transportation, Tan Sri Dato Amar Dr. James Massing, told the August House that one million ringgit had been approved for the Public Works Department to carry out the maintenance and repair works. But to the disappointment of the people, Baru said there has been no sign of any repair works on the road. Bill Gayong murder, shock and grief at court after three of the accused walk free. Three men charged with abetting the murder of social activist Bill Gayong on June the 21st, 2016 at a traffic light intersection near Imart supermarket in Tudan, Miri Kuala Baram bypass, have been acquitted of all charges in a decision that has shocked the victim's family and relatives at the High Court in Miri on June the 6th. Dato Stephen Li Chi Kiang, Chin Wei Ching and Lie Chang Lun were charged with abetting Muhammad Fiji Powers an offence punishable under Section 109, read together with Section 302 of the Penal Code, which carried a mandatory death sentence upon conviction. Li, Qin and Li were acquitted of all charges while Fiji was called to enter his defence. State Government Withdrawing Participation of Representative in Tourism Malaysia Sarawak State Government has decided to withdraw the participation of its representative in Malaysia Tourism Board. The State Government deems that the participation of its representative in Tourism Malaysia is not necessary as this is duplicating the roles and functions of the Sarawak Tourism Board. The State Government has also indicated that it will deliberate on the tourism tax in the next Cabinet meeting. Restaurant with mega field chicken issued compound notice. On June the 14th, a customer had ordered the Lalapan Ayam meal at a 24-hour Indonesian restaurant in Miri. Miri Divisional Health Office conducted an inspection following a recent case involving a customer who received a nasty shock after he found maggots crawling all over a piece of chicken that was part of his dinner on June the 14th. The restaurant was later issued a compound notice on June the 15th under the Food Hygiene Regulations 2009 during enforcement operations carried out by the Mary Divisional Health Office. State in negotiation with Asia on proposed LCCT, said Abang Johari. Sarawak state government is in negotiation with AAsia Burhat to pave the way for the construction of a low-cost carrier terminal in Kuching. Chief Minister Dato Amar Abang Johari Dun Openg said the negotiations are now in the process, but he cannot disclose any information yet. Suspect arrested over fatal hit and run, car seized. A 42-year-old suspect was arrested by the police in connection with the hit-and-run accident which took the life of Kampong Siganda village chief Jepus June on June the 20th. The male suspect from Kampong Danu, Padawan, was arrested at his home around 1.35 p.m. by a police inspector from the Padawan District Police Headquarters Traffic Police Division. 
Police personnel who were investigating the case traced the vehicle that matched the license plate that was found at the scene of the accident to Kampong Danu. The vehicle was also discovered by the police to have dents on its front portion, which were believed to have been caused by the impact of the collision. No dam, no road. The people of Baram's hope of having road connectivity lies in the Baram HEP project. Deputy Chief Minister Tan Sri Dato Ama Dr. James Jumut Masing pointed out that social economic factors were the critical drivers for financiers, including government and developers or investors, to start in the Baram HEP project that could be the solution to many diverse problems. Masing also revealed that the Bali HEP dam is under construction, whereby certain packages have been awarded and the road connecting Kapit all the way to Ulu Bali is expected to be ready in three years.